I'm telling y'all, if we don't stop this shit soon, Denzel Washington will be up next. Uh, they gonna say that he fucking um raped uh motherfucking one of the, the white women on the fucking set. They gonna say he um uh, uh 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 assaulted somebody. He uh it was unwanted flirting going on on the set because he smiled too hard when he was doing goddamn John Q. When he was doing Training Day, that's really how the fuck he is. He just, you know what I'm saying? He's just another nigga. And if y'all keep playing, they're going to do the same thing to Barack Obama. This episode of the Big Bang Podcast is brought to you by My Olive Leaf. Olive Leaf Extract is good for naturally lowering your blood pressure. Regulating your diabetic blood sugar, lupus, fibroid, STDs, and a whole bunch of other shit that you're going to need in the bedroom, big home. Now, to get your bottle, you go to myoliveleaf.biz or call 612-567-3263. Get your shit together, big home. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. All blessings, all praise. Welcome back to the Big Facts Podcast. I am A.O. Conseco, the fearless leader of A.O. Nation. Feeling so much better. Thank God. And this is Are You Serious? And we about to get straight down to the white meat. And we not going to bullshit about it. Because, um, as I'm sure you guys know, motherfuckers came and took my dogs uh, yesterday. Uh, I don't know. You're going to you probably seen this shit. On Friday, so that would mean like two days ago and shit. It was a fucked up day. The month, like my fucking vape started goddamn. That shit got too strong. Shit fucked my stomach up. So I was out the whole fucking yesterday. But I'm back now. And we're talking about getting up and, and actually having to see that it's so much bullshit going on that needs to be spoken about that hasn't been spoken about. Because nobody wants to talk about it for some reason. Everybody want to tiptoe around what's actually going on. So I guess I just got to do all the goddamn work around here. Let's talk about... Let, let's start with uh, Morgan Freeman. Um, If y'all don't know, um, they trying to hit Morgan Freeman with the Bill Cosby. They trying to hit Morgan Freeman with the Russell Simmons. They trying to hit Bill Cosby with the O.J. Simpson. They trying to hit Bill Cosby with, you know, just... Uh, what's my man's name that got banned for rape and he didn't uh, do no rape and whatever like that. Uh, it's just the, the same shit, man. And it's like, you know, I don't give a fuck about that whole, ah, oh, you just defend him because he's black. You fucking right. You fucking right. It's a war going on. Like, you got one of ours. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that, that, my, that's a prisoner of fucking war. Like, what the fuck? Like, when the, the Civil War was going on, the, the fucking, the Union and the fucking Confederates, like, if one of the Confederate soldiers got captured, you know what I'm saying, and the, the Union said, oh, they did something wrong, like, no the fuck they didn't. I don't fucking fuck with the fucking Union. If the Union, one of their soldiers got caught by the Confederates, the Union and the Confederates said, oh, he did a war crime, you're not gonna fucking believe the goddamn Confederates. It's a war going on right now. You, you, you're seeing it, you're seeing it, you're seeing it. Time after time after time, how could you believe anything these motherfuckers say? What they're trying to do, fuck the bullshit, what they're trying to do is tear down each one of our idols. Anybody that we look up to and we hold in high regard, they're trying to tear them down and not just their money. They're trying to defame their character because what Morgan Freeman and Bill Cosby Richard Pryor, I'm going to get on that Richard Pryor shit in just a second, but what these men, um, uh, O.J. Simpson, what these men um, symbolize for us as black men is like, okay, see, we have another side than just this gold mouth talking on the money phone, yeah, 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 whatever bullshit you hear, like we more than just that shit right there. Some of us end up like this. The same way we can't look at all y'all like hillbilly fucking redneck white supremacists. Y'all can't look at all of us like we fucking, you know what I'm saying, thugs in the street that are just fucking animals. 
but it would seem as if you're trying to destroy both sides because the side that the powers that be are perpetuating and throwing in our face till we can't even like you look this way. Any way you look, you know what I'm saying? It looks like an ignorant black motherfucker with gold teeth talking about yeah, yeah, yeah and, and it's retarded. They're laughing at us. They put the clowns in the front as if that symbolizes all of black men. And then the the, the black the upstanding black men that actually are upright, they're tearing them down like look, look at the dirt. Look at their dirt. They got a lot of see, there is no such thing as a good black man. Even when you even when they put on a good front, they're still just evil niggers. I don't give a see y'all. I don't give a fuck about that race shit. Y'all the fucking y'all. This is what the fuck it is. If y'all want me to stop stop talking about that race shit and stop doing racial uh, racially fueled shit, man. This is racially fueled. You try to take down every one of our uh, black leaders, throw them down to the ground, and say, "God damn, y'all don't have no black leaders." I'm telling y'all, if we don't stop this shit soon, Denzel Washington will be up next. Uh, they gonna say that he fucking um. Rape, uh, motherfucking one of the, the white women on the fucking set. They're going to say he, um, uh, 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 assaulted somebody. He, uh, it was unwanted flirting going on on the set because he smiled too hard when he was doing goddamn John Q. When he was doing training day, that's really how the fuck he is. He just, you know what I'm saying? He's just another nigga. And if y'all keep playing, they're going to do the same thing to Barack Obama. If we don't do something here and now and say, hey, y'all, we don't believe y'all. We do not believe y'all. All these hoes coming up to my some, and you, if any of you black bitches come forward talking about any nigga, I don't give a motherfuck. I don't give a fuck what the nigga did. This nigga's a fucking, he's a symbol, and you gotta take some motherfucker. You may have to take a little punishment. If a nigga, first of all, bitch, this Me Too movement shit, hey, ho. Cause a nigga holler at you, that don't mean a nigga is fuck like nigga ain't pressing your fucking space. I, what you want? Look, I was just down here. Uh, where I was at, dog? Where I was at, dog? I was somewhere, dog. And it's these fucking dog. Y'all motherfuckers, I'm telling y'all now. Y'all gonna be in or out. I was somewhere, dog. Where the fuck I was at? And uh, see, like, you know what I'm saying? It was a fine, like, white hoe, whatever, like that. And you know what I'm saying? This whole, see, like, this whole goddamn, she was, she was trying to, you know what I'm saying, make sure that she ain't past me. Like, we was, like, we come like this, whatever, like that. And she was trying to make sure she ain't past me. And when she did pass me, she turned around looking at me so I can't see what that ass looked like. Man, bitch, if you don't go in here and turn around and see what that ass looking like so I be by my way, bitch, I damn near stop. Hey, man, who? Bitch, if you don't turn your motherfucking ass around, let me see what that ass look like, ho. We damn near had to mug each other. This whole like, what the fuck are you looking at? What the fuck are you trying to see? Hey, bitch, first of all, I think this whole had on something seductive. Like, ho, I'm not the nigga. Look, I'm not that nigga you do that bullshit street harassment uh, hidden camera shit on because I'm not, I don't give a fuck about none of that dumb ass shit. Bitch, I'm a real talk. I'm, I'm like real talk. Hey, bitch, you come down this bitch anywhere near where I be at with that goddamn uh, cat suit, anything like that, and you hitting like that. Bitch, I don't see what's going on with you. Real talk. That's human nature. If you telling a nigga not to be physically attracted to a fucking... I don't give a fuck about how I, that's going too far. Hey, man, I'm trying to see what this hoe look like, dog. I might want to holler at this hoe. How the fuck I'm know that this hoe is a fucking white supremacist uh, bitch? This, I don't, I don't, that's what I'm saying. Should I look at every white woman like a white supremacist? Fuck no. So I'm going to look at this white woman like, oh, that whole fine. I might want to go back and holler at her, see what's going down. A nigga can't holler at a white bitch, dog? Fuck is y'all talking about? You can't ogle. What the fuck do ogle mean? Like, man, my nigga DeWan said, in school, they don't teach you law. They don't teach you law in school. Like, they don't tell you, like, um... You, you can't rob banks. Or like, they, like, they don't tell you what law. Like, you can't um uh, speed. Like they, they don't teach that shit in school. Like, it's like the, just all the laws, all the things that you can get arrested for, they don't teach that in school. You know what I'm saying? And he said they don't because you have to learn that shit by experience. So I think with that, you have to learn 
how to come at the opposite sex. I, me and my mom, we talk about um, if they're going to have a Me Too movement, then we should have a Men Too movement because the, the sexual abuse that I've been through, that women have put me through, Dog, I could have so many fucking holes on fucking, like, you know what I'm saying? Holes would be in Metro somewhere. The shit that these hoes then did to me as far, like, you know what I'm saying? Physically trying to, you know what I'm saying? Like, just fucking nigga, like, pulling my shirt to that bitch. I'm talking, like, crazy shit. A nigga can't go report that shit, whatever, like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, what about this whole, what about this teacher down there in, in Atlanta, wherever the fuck, or Mississippi, wherever the fuck that teacher was that ran away with that 16-year-old child, that 16-year-old black boy? She ran away with him, whatever, like that. She got a charge on her, but she bought it out and, and uh, ran away with the goddamn boy. You got the good boy parents on TV talking, come on back home, son, and shit like that. No, like, all that crazy shit. This white woman had not only a husband at home, but two kids. She was willing to leave all that shit for that 16-year-old black boy. And she was 30 years old. I'm going to make a fucking movement called Men Too. And I'm going to attempt to get the female predators and the female sexual, like, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you now, I'm going to start doing this shit anytime I'm fucking, I'm Black China, Amber Rose, any fucking um, man eater bitch that, you know what I'm saying, be, be like physically and aggressively going at niggas, I'm going to put them hoes on my list and I want some fucking legal action taken. I want their fucking, I want, cause ain't no goddamn woman been, had her whole goddamn everything snatched away like they doing Bill Cosby, like they doing Morgan Freeman, like they doing Russell Simmons, like they doing, uh, like they about to do Denzel Washington. Oh I'm telling y'all, when they start reaching up and they grab goddamn Morgan Freeman, it's like, hold the fuck up. Hold the fuck up. Morgan Freeman ain't really, I don't give a fuck, bitch. That nigga's not built like that. He's not, he's not rocking like that. You hoes it. See what I, I told you, motherfuckers. I said Bill Cosby is nothing more than a uh, 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 um what is it a uh, uh, a microcosm or what the fuck like if, if they started they could get away with that shit. It's like anything else, dog. A motherfucker see what they can get away with, then they take an inch, they get a whole fucking mile. Oh this is why in the streets a nigga tells you, goddamn. For any the slightest disrespect, you gotta go all the way. I'm trying a nigga do, you know what I'm saying? Try to shortchange it, anything like that. You gotta put some on that nigga head, dog. Because after that, it's gonna be a whole, you know what I'm saying? Everything gonna it's gonna be a, a toppling effect, domino effect, it's over it for you. You know what I'm saying? Next thing you know, nigga going right in your pocket and taking what they want. I, let me let me get off that shit. Listen, I wanna tell y'all about um the powers that be. The powers that be are pushing the young idiots. Uh, the, as long as you're perpetuating the stereotype of black men stupid, black men cavemen, rah, 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 we belong in prisons. As long as they can push that to the forefront, that's all you're going to see. The black men that are saying something, the black men that are saying no, that are articulate, that are actually, you know what I'm saying, like good black men, upstanding that speak well, that have good diction, that use their discernment, they won't be pushed to the forefront. What will be pushed to the forefront is the, um, what is it? The, I, I wanna say it, the, 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 um, the low lives of our society will be pushed to the forefront so that that's all they think we are. And when they do that, People won't be as outraged when they go get Bill Cosby, Morgan Freeman, Russell Simmons, and Denzel Washington, and then Barack Obama. Say this shit is as crazy as you want, but when I told I told y'all that after Bill Cosby, it's going to be a free for all. There is a war on men. There is a manhunt that is in place, and they don't give a fuck about no particular man. Any man will do. Any man with success, any man that represents progress, any black man with any type of um, uh, okay reputation will do. Not until we can replace the stigma that, okay, back in the, you know what I'm saying, slavery days, the stigma of the black man was King Kong. Ah, big monkey, come take white woman to the top of the Eiffel Tower and just grab her and fight off the planes. 
I see the thing, what they've done to y'all is y'all can't connect shit. When I say King Kong on top of the fucking building, like you can't, for some reason, you can't apply that same picture to what's going on now. Is that not how we're looked at? Do they not treat us like we are the biggest monkeys that they can just kill them with a fatal swoop? They treat us like fucking bears. They're so scared of us that when they kill us, everyone else understands. There's no outrage. I, I can understand it. Cause I, I, that fucking nigga came like he had tattoos on. Like the fuck, he came at me. I do the same thing. I do the same thing for less. They're painting a picture. So this is why every time they attempt, when they say something, if, when they say, I don't give a fuck how many accusers you have. I don't give a fuck if they're black females. I'm going to have to believe that the powers that be pay those people. I just can't sit here and say because Morgan Freeman tried to holler at a bitch, he's a fucking monster. I can't... What if I... What, all the time, you motherfucker, These fucking white boys are, are taking bitches by the back of the neck and kissing them and they calling that shit true love. They calling that shit Twilight. The motherfucker on Twilight was like a million years old talking to this fucking 17-year-old. And you motherfucker, your whole heart melted about that shit. But Morgan Freeman trying to find love in his 80s and now he a fucking... Monster, let's go and put him down. Why, what? Hey, what's up with you motherfuckers going after old black men too? Let me get back to this. Hold on, let me, let me, I'm gonna jump right back. Let me tell you what I, I want to tell you about Richard Pryor. They said with Richard Pryor, everybody in the industry knew about that. That was an open secret, the same way that every, they know that everybody, all the white folks in Hollywood, like to fuck little kids. You know what I'm saying? An open secret. But they said every, every black person knew that, you know what I'm saying, there was rumors about uh, Richard Pryor being homosexual or whatever like that. That rumor has been an open secret for years and years and years forever. All right, so how is it that only now Quincy Jones come forward? Who interviewed him? See, y'all need to start looking at that, that shit a little bit deeper or whatever like that. Whenever... A black man is being defamed. Whenever a black man is being torn down, you need to look at everything around that crime scene. You need to become an investigator at that point in time. Who the fuck interviewed him? Who set up the interview? Who paid Quincy Jones? Who the fuck was thinking about Quincy Jones at that point in time? What made Quincy Jones just want to come forth and spill all the beans about niggas? Our idols. If you find out that a white man paid him to do that, would you be fucking surprised? If you found out that a white man paid him to start to say that shit, whatever, like that, say, hey, man, because he could, if, if what I'm saying about the open secret, if every nigga in Hollywood knew that about Richard Pryor and all these open secrets, whatever, like that, you could have picked out any nigga of a certain age and put him on that fucking interview and it would have been the same shit. They could have pissed that shit to Quincy Jones like, yeah, we're going to get you back in the limelight. Like, you know what I'm saying? We just want you to talk about what's going on. Show them that you are unfiltered. Show them that you, you, are, you are talk about the shit. You know what I'm saying? You ain't scared and shit. You get a nigga like me to piss that shit to Quincy Jones, pay the nigga to talk to the nigga, then you pay the nigga that's going to talk about the niggas. As long as it's niggas, 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 Tearing down niggas, it's all good because the white man know, I right, if we do it, then it's going to be looked at as racial. Racial. So, get the nigga to do it. And get a nigga to go talk to him. This is why I feel like affirmative action comes into play. The, the reason why you have to have a black man in every company isn't so that you, you can meet the quota and show that you're equal. The reason why you got to have a black man in every company is so that when you need a nigga to go, when you need a nigga from another company to do something, you send that nigga over there so it don't seem like it's the white man trying to get the, the black man to do some dumb shit. When you got something dumb you want another nigga to do, you send the black man that you got on your affirmative action team. So affirmative action is nothing more than, hey man, you better goddamn get your shit up, boy. You gonna need them niggas. You gonna need them niggas. Them niggas ain't gonna hear what the fuck you saying. Get you a nigga, and that nigga gonna go down there and do it. That nigga gonna make that nigga do it. Niggas don't talk our language. You need that nigga to go in. When I when the feds got me dog, watch this shit. 
when the fed came and got when the secret service came and got me from Pritchard, dog they took me downtown to the uh the uh broad street headquarters whatever like that down there by the food stamp office and i'm in that bitch you know i'm in that hole uh, you know what i'm saying i don't got no i'm, saying, I'm retarded i'm a crazy person so I don't, I don't know what the fuck you talking about you know what i'm saying the, the white man goddamn walked out that bitch man fuck this shit man he's not saying shit i'm like oh what's going on man you know what I'm saying? What they do is they close the door, then they, they get a, the, uh, a black lieutenant, they give him like a head and all. You, I'm watching all this shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm watching everything. But because I'm doing all this shit, they think I'm just retarded. So, goddamn, the black man coming there like, what's up, man? We don't help each other? I'm like, I don't know what's going on. Man, you, man, you better man, you better do what you gotta do, man. You you facing how old you is now? Oh, yeah, you'll be out when you're about 65. You come on. Man, you facing five years on every one of them things. Like, man, I don't know what's going on, huh? He said, huh? Like, oh, I don't know what's going on, man. Tell, go tell him, go tell him to go get on Sally. Go get on Sally. Go get on Sally. So he walk out there, bitch, like, nah, that's old. He's he a crazy person. You not gonna send no nigga to me and get me to goddamn tell myself because he speak a little slang. Like, hey, man, you better goddamn that coon fucking... Babble, nigga, babble. I don't, that's not, I don't even talk like that, be home. Like, that's not even how I fucking talk. So, I, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, like, who the fuck are you? Like, just because a nigga wears your same skin, I can't really say that. <laughs> that would do, that would, that would take away the whole point. Let me do it better. Let me say it better. Because I was going to say, just because a nigga wear your same skin don't mean that he means you well. And that's, that's true, though. Because I saw him being sent by the white man. But understand, it's, it's always going, but even then, there was a white man behind that. It was a white man that sent that nigga in there. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's, that's what the affirmative action is. Like, and, and niggas are just, you know what I'm saying? Once you get, once you conform to the system, you're saying, all right, well, whatever you need me to do, I'm just worried about my pension, about my goddamn retirement. I don't give a fuck what I got to do. And they'll, and they'll, um, and, uh, console themselves, they'll justify it by saying, I was just doing my job and we need to get criminals off the street. If you do something wrong, you need to do the time, all that bullshit, dog. That's not how the shit is, because, like, the fuck, my nigga, like, you know, if you was in this situation and you had what I have, you would have did the same shit, whatever. Opportunity was presented, and I jumped on the shit. But, see, they, they won't, they, you're not going to get me on no fucking case. Like, I don't, we're not going to, you know what I'm saying? But, let's get back into it. I think that Please eat that affirmative action game up too. Please understand. I feel like that's that's really, you know what I'm saying? You need to hear that about that affirmative action shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's not for us, it's for them. So they can have mouthpieces in all genres of life. The reason why you want to have a, a diversified uh staff at your job is so that you can talk to all walks and be able to to uh, market to all walks of life. You know what I'm saying? Cutting yourself off from the black people or Iranian people and Chinese people, uh, Russian people, but they, they always gonna find a job. But, you know, people of color, Mexicans and shit like that, the reason why, Hispanics, the reason why you would want those people in your circle and on your staff is so that when you decide to put out a product, you can find out, like, checkers, rallies, they got Jazz and Faye talking the most retarded, the most Sambo, dog. This nigga is talking so fucking unprofessional on this. Foot. You gotta get your surprise. Get your surprise. You got the good fries. Got me some good. You get all your fries for a dollar. Any size. Fries. Come get your fries. What I like about the fries is they got season on them. They got that good salt, that seasoned salt, good salt. Like, are you serious, my nigga? You so they 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 threw you fit there whatever like whatever the fuck they threw you and it like you doing that bad be home that you good fries love that love that love that chicken from Popeyes <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying like these niggas is crazy what the fuck is going on but no I I think like it's it's a white man if you look at it it's a white man behind all the shit everything that's happening to a black man is is forced and put down by a white man. Just look at anything that's happened to a black man, you will find a white man somewhere in the shadows, you know what I'm saying? Either putting the money up, sending a nigga to go get a nigga and shit like that. And we are so thirsty. We're so hungry for money. I mean, money is what money is, you know what I'm saying? You need that money and shit like that. But God damn, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit. But I mean, we, we do it every day, like, you know what I'm saying? You need money, that's why you selling this coke 
to your auntie. You need money. That's why you're selling that crack to your uncle. You need money. That's why you're selling um, heroin to your brother, your actual blood brother. You know what I'm saying? You cutting him a deal so he can get it for cheaper, so he can go shoot that shit up. So that's how horrible we are with money. And that, that's that's why we don't mind taking the money to go and betray our fellow black man's trust and tell him, hey man, you need to get on with this, this thing we got going on and uh, we got some good shit going. Knowing that your business is corrupt. Knowing that the corporation you work for is all on the bullshit, but they told you to come pitch this shit to this nigga, and you know why they doing it. You know that if they came and talked to this nigga about what they want him to do, he would be able to see that shit like, nah, I ain't fucking with that. But they sent you so that you can break it down to him and make it sound good and make it feel, oh, see, this? I'm another black man, so you can trust me. So even though it sounds fucked up, believe me, it's all good. And that's, that, they just throw us in the, they throw us in the jungle, throw us in the, uh, the monkey zoo, and we just throw shit at each other. <laughs> it is what it is. Thanks for watching the Big Fast Podcast. I am A.O. Conseco. Make sure you hit that PayPal. I'll see y'all in a minute. Love. I gotta get my goddamn, look at my shit so far away. I'm gonna get that shit.